Well, good morning. It's December 3rd, the day after the last video. Decided, you know, I'm going to sleep in for a little bit and then uh, I'll hit up those other parks that I didn't hit yesterday. So, without further ado, let's go hit some parks. Well, today we start off our day with a little bit of zinc. Zinc is good for your diet. And a piece of copper lime. Or jewelry parts, I don't know. Well, we got a thing. I'm pretty sure that's not for cleaning your ears. And judging from the residue on the tip, it's probably drug related. More zinc for my diet. 52 cents, not 52, 27 cents. That little thing and a copper tube. Let's go to another park. I'm gonna go to the one that's just swing sets. And now we have a quarter. All right, so far a penny and a screw. Oh, and a Bob Marley bracelet. Another penny. Okay, first we're gonna hit this little itty bitty play structure that's in our neighborhood. I made my left hand turn too soon. Then we'll get to the swing sets. That was all in one little spread it out area. All right, another park I didn't hit. This one I said, I'll let this one simmer. Well, that was a nice little spill. And then I found a penny and a piece of bling chain afterwards. So, now let's go to the swing sets. This is a good stop. Well, not much here, but at least I found one of my marbles. Right next to that, we got a dime. Bell G24 coil, sniff some out. And a quarter nickel and two pulled halves. Two more quarters. And with this dime, I think it's time to move on. All right, another park I skipped yesterday. This one has a three-story play structure. We start this one out with a dime. Well, found a pin with gears on it. It looks to be silver. Well, we'll take a good look at it and do a scratch test at home. Well, that was that park. Let's go to another one. Well, our first find. A penny. It's an older one. All right, this park is literally around the corner from the other park, and this is one I always avoid because, well, there's a lot of dodgy characters that hang out here. So, let's go and join the dodgy characters and look for some coins. Possibly some jewelry. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see what we can find. Two dimes and a nickel. Two dimes and a penny. Two dimes, a nickel, and two pennies. And another dime, another penny. I think I'm going to go to the next park. 50 cents and a crucifix. Yeah, the natives are starting to get restless over there, so time to go. Let's go find another park. A penny and an earring. A quarter and a dime. Yay. Another park. All right, at the final park. Let's see what we find. Well, we got a few more coins out of that park, and uh, from what I was showing you guys, so let's get to the last park and I will have completed all the parks in my town in one weekend. A quarter, two nickels, and a penny. Under a slide. Well, so far, three quarters, four pennies, and a zipper pull. Four more cents. That makes sense. Two more pennies and a nickel. I'm going to detect my way out of here. And then there was a nickel. All right, that's going to do it for today. Um, go home, get cleaned up. And we'll do a roundup. Yay! All right. I know you've been waiting for this. We actually have a trash can roundup today. There's all the wonderful trash. Um, yeah, I got a pink earbud. I picked up some glass, some screws, a washer, a couple bearings, a few pull tabs, random bottle cap. You know, just stuff. Lots of stuff. Ooh. So I'm going to go inside, get cleaned up, clean up the other stuff so you can see the stuff, so that way we can do the stuff, okay? Lots of stuff. All right. Here's the cleanup. Mm. Okay, there's all the treasure for today. Uh, we ended up with 30 pennies, 10 nickels, 25 dimes, and 12 quarters for a total of $5.30. Um, older pennies are in the bottom row. I think my oldest coin, though, is this quarter right here, which is a 1967. 
but we got that weird gear pin. The front of it's all just scratched up, but it's got no markings on it. This earring has no markings. The chain failed the magnet test, but it's still pretty. Kind of marble. Got the crucifix. That's what that looks like. And two of those little rivets off of someone's pants. Uh, the Bob Marley bracelet, they call it that because it's one love. And then this weird thing. If anybody has any idea what this is used for, please let me know. It's just odd that it was found in a park. That's what makes me think someone was using it for cleaning a pipe or something. Well, either way, I'll find a use for it. Anyways, thanks for joining me on this uh, long hunt. I had a good time. I hope you did too. We found some treasure. We found some trash. We had some laughs, some bad puns, and some really, really horrible rhymes. Anyways, like always, y'all take care. Good luck out there. Happy hunting. Stay safe, and bye for now.